Hey everybody, Don Dabney from Left Coast Classics, and this here is just a really incredible, really quite amazing 1950 Ford F100 pickup with purportedly 28,807 original miles, and I'll get more into that in the description. It's just an incredibly cool truck. Anyway, stick around because in this video, I'm going to take you around the car and I'm going to take you under the car, but first buckle up because I'm going to take you for a ride in it. It just gets up, it gets down the road great, it doesn't smoke, it starts right up when you, you know, when you hit the start button and it goes. I'm going to close the wind wing. That's in great working order, all the lights are working, the wipers, the blinkers, the horn, just highly functional. It just, it drives great. Braking, suspension, everything feels good on it. Very cool, and it downshifts nice too. We're gonna downshift a second. I'm gonna ignore that phone call right now. I don't know if you can hear it. That's my best friend Rick calling. Anyway, you can see it just gets down the road great. Got plenty of power, we're up around 45, pushing 50 miles an hour. I can't go much faster, I mean we're on the country roads of Sonoma. But it will go faster. The fuel gauge works, the temperature gauge, the speedometer, the odometer. And while the truck's been repainted, all this paint in here, most all of it, I think actually all of it is original. And it's really obvious when you start looking at the screw heads and opening up the, you know, the ashtray and the glove box and everything, super cool. All right, anyway, be sure to check out the, uh, the rest of the video. There's more to come, so keep watching. And uh, if you have any questions, get in touch with me. You can, my cell phone's somewhere down there in the description. Check us out on Left Coast Classics. That's my left, opposite of right. That's my, uh, not my politics, just my location. A uh, lot more photos there than you might find on a third party site. And you can call or text me anytime. Check us out on, you know, I'm on the social media sites, but they've been so tyrannical, I haven't been using them lately. So uh, you can find us there, but I'm not gonna post until they, until they stop that nonsense. But we do have over 8 million views on my YouTube channel, which is pretty cool. And if you get a chance, check me out on three episodes of Wheeler Dealers. The first one was uh, back in, I think, 2013. It was a 1957 Ford Thunderbird. We did the, this episode right here. That was back in the Ed China days. That was my first one. And then we did another episode with Mike Brewer in 2018. I think it was a red Lancia Fulvia, which was kind of a cool car. Mike actually came up to buy a Rover, and then he saw the Lancia and bought that instead. 
And then the last one we did aired December of 2020. That was a cool episode, a very unusual episode. Uh, and, and it was a one owner Triumph TR4 uh, with a great story. So be sure to check those out on Motor Trend. And again, give me a call anytime if you have any questions and enjoy the rest of the video in the description and everything else. Take it easy. Okay, so let's head underneath the 54 and check it out. It's just, the undercarriage is unrestored, totally original, and uh, all intact with no rust and none of that. It's just really cool. And I suppose somebody could do a, a power spraying under here if they wanted to clean it a bit, but you know, it is in good shape. The floors are beautiful. The rear corners up here are nice. And it's just super stock under here and super clean. Of course, it has a newer bed, the wood in there, but super nice and all there and complete. So, especially for my Midwest and friends from the East where rust is a concern, I like to take this, I just have a super weak magnet and I like to go around and just kind of show you how she sticks. Don't really need to do that area because, of course, you can see in there and it's, just totally fine. It's just grabbing it. This is highly unusual. Of course, we don't need to do the bed or the rear fenders. So let's go around. We'll do this area, but you can see underneath it's no filler. We'll start up here and boy, just no resistance at all. Excellent corners, little bit of stuff there, but it's so on the surface. And we know that's all good and we know the rear Fender is probably fine because I could see it from the other side. Just, just zero, zero filler. There you go.